So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from The Risk of Learnings and today we'll talk about HQL which is which stands for Hibernate Query Language. Now why we need this concept when you have when you can use the methods like get when you can use method like save update so if you can use all these methods to change the data in your database why you need another language okay just think about it now when we use a method called as save what we do we save the object into the database when we use update we normally use we, we change the data again with the help of objects but when we use something called as get what we specify is the class name and the primary key right so let's say if you want an object which is the fifth row of your table we will be using a get method and again we have to specify the primary key right but what if you don't want a simple row you want some you, you want to work with multiple tables maybe you want to fetch not the entire records but some specific records I don't want to have the entire record I don't want to get the entire row I want to get only one row how to do that for this you need hql now you might be thinking about okay we have to learn another language now uh, not exactly if you know sql hql is very very easy ha, provided you know sql okay if you don't know sql then there is something called as learning curve but if you know sql if you know what is select star from table if you know what is select roll number from student if you know where clause you're good to go so in hql what we change so first of all in SQL what we mention is so let's say if I if I use this query the above query here which is select roll number from student now this roll number is a column name and student is a table name in SQL right in HQL what you have to mention is you have to mention select then you have to mention roll number but this roll number is not a column name it's a variable name or the field in your class or the property in your class and then you have to mention the class name not the table name but the class name and that's why you can see this is student in small s this is student with capital s right so you have to mention the class name not the table name that's that's something you have to remember this is sql and this is sql almost same right so that is exciting you know you have to you can you can learn a new language called sql if you know sql you can learn hql if you know sql right now now what, what, what's new in that? I mean, can we do some extra stuff? And yes, so let's say if you want to fetch the entire table, what you do in SQL is you say select star from table name. In case of HQL, you can simply mention from table. You don't have, I mean, from class name, you don't have to mention the select query because it is something which is obvious, right? When you say select star, you want the entire table, then why not go with this? Instead of saying select, you can simply mention from class name, it will fetch the entire table for you right okay can we do joins yes of course instead of using two uh, instead of using two table name we have to use two class names can we use group by of course can we use order by of course everything is possible again how to do those things that we'll see in the in the practical session but it is possible to use all those things which we do in sql in hql as well okay now there's one last thing which I have to point you here. So if you talk about SQL, let's say if you're working with Java and database and you are using JDBC. Now if you remember, we used to use result set. So when you fire a query, you get the data in result set and then what you do is you apply those weird while loops and then you try to fetch the data. In case of HQL, you get, so when you fire a query, you get the list of objects, which means you can fetch all the information with the help of an enhanced for loop. It's that simple. Okay, so HQL is simpler than SQL. Okay, can we use okay? Can we use SQL in Hibernate? And yes, we can also do that. So there's something called as native query. So if you want to use SQL in H in Hibernate, instead of using HQL, we can do that. Okay, with the help of native queries. How to do that? That we'll see in the practical session. So I hope you like this video. Please click on the like button and do subscribe for further videos.